Hey everyone, it's Rochelle and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be installing a wig straight out of the box. I don't do that very often, but I will be doing that today. And I'm installing the new water lace wig from Hair Vivi. Let's get into this lace. It's super thin. It's given what lace? Never heard of her. I haven't even cut the lace yet and look at the lace. And guys, I'm filming in 4K and there is no softening filter on this video. This is raw, okay? I want you guys to see this lace up close because I'm actually very impressed. I'm very impressed. Now this is not my first time wearing a Hair VV wig. I got this wig from them about three months ago and this wig actually is still in pretty good condition and the lace still looks really good. I do wear this one often. If you want your wigs to last a lot longer, I do recommend not using glue on them always or if you do use glue, properly clean them off. I will do a video on how to really care for your wigs if you guys wanna see that. And here's another wig that I actually purchased from them last month. I purchased this wig with my own money, by the way. It was not sent to me. And honestly, this is how the wig looked in the pictures. I got exactly what I purchased. So this wig right now that I'm wearing was sent to me and I will say that I love the quality of the lace and the fact that they offer pre-plucked and beginner friendly wigs. This is how the wig looks on the inside. It has that invisible scalp, so you don't have to do the ball cap method that I usually do when I do my wig install. It gives the wig a more realistic look. Now, I don't use the combs on my wigs. I always remove them. Um, do you guys use them? I never use the combs on the side. I honestly find them to be pointless and irritating. They annoy my, they annoy my edges, so I don't use them. However, I do use the comb in the back it keeps the wig in the back secure. Now the only thing I would change on this wig, I wish the hair was a bit fuller. This wig is about 160 density, so it's not super full, but they do offer higher density wigs. They have a few styles I wanna try, so I will be ordering a 180 density wig next time. All right, so let's install this wig. I have my wig cap on, I just pop the wig on my head, and I already started cutting the lace, you guys. When I tell you this lace is so invisible, I was kind of having a hard time cutting it because it was super, super thin and I honestly, I did not want to ruin it when I was cutting it. Now, I like to take out the two little pieces in the front. This wig already has a widow's peak, which is good because I naturally have one, so it's gonna look like a natural hairline. So I'm gonna go in with some lace glue and I'm just gonna apply that to my forehead. I'm using my own glue, by the way. It will be launching soon. I'm just testing it out and I just wanna see how it works with heat and water and all that good stuff and then I will be launching it soon. And as you can see, I'm doing some tweezing. I'm tweezing out the hair in the front because I wanna create a more realistic hairline for me. So now I'm gonna apply the glue to the side as well. And you guys, it dried super clear, so you don't wanna put it down until the glue is dry. That goes for every lace glue you use. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut the sides. Now I will say with the side of the wig, it did come down a little low. So the wig size fit perfectly, but I find that the hairline is a bit low on the side. So I did have to cut away quite a bit of lace and I had to go in and tweeze the side a bit because I did cut away quite a bit of lace and hair. So I have to create my own like hairline at the side to make it fit for my face. Now again, I'm gonna do the same thing, going in with my scissors. And as you can see, I'm cutting it very jagged. I don't cut in a straight line. You wanna cut it jagged. And then I'm gonna go in with my lace glue, wait for it to dry clear, and just pop that lace down. Again, do you see how thin that lace is? Like it's so, so thin. And I'm going in with that tweezer just to tweeze away some of the hairline on the side. And just to get the edges of the lace and to melt it down, I go in with some got to be free spray. Now you could use some melting spray, lace wig melting spray, but I was completely out. So I'm using got to be. And honey, I just went to go to my makeup off camera. Listen, I was getting my entire life. I was super, super impressed with how this hairline was looking. And I haven't even melted this wig down just yet. Now you don't have to do baby hairs if you don't want to. I'm going in with my eyebrow razor to create some. Honestly, looking back at this video i really didn't need to add them so i don't know why i did but whatever it's okay so i just showed you guys my hot comb and i'm gonna start flattening this wig down because you know it, it's not flat it's it's kind of sitting on my head like a house so we gotta flatten it down i'm going in with the hot comb and it's on the highest setting and i'm flattening down that wig and honestly i couldn't decide if i wanted a center part or a side part 
think I'm gonna go for side part today. But again, I went in with some hair wax and honey, she's looking good. Like I said, the only thing I wish for is that this wig was a bit fuller. That's it. I wish it was just a bit fuller. I wish I gotten the 180 density. So I'm gonna go ahead and start creating a side part. You know I'm a side part girl. I love a side part, but you could do middle if you want to, but you know, I love my side part. So I just, I'm, so I'm just parting the wig and then I, I know this, the part is a little crooked. I promise I'm going to fix it. And now I'm going to go in with my baby curling iron. I'm obsessed with this thing and I'm going to create some very soft, soft and natural baby hairs. I go in with some mousse with my edge brush and just brush the hair out of the way by the way you do get an edge brush with this wig you get clips and everything and I'm gonna go in with my elastic band to melt down the lace I let it sit for about 10 minutes and voila look at it what lace it looks amazing so yeah this is pretty much the completed video I really really hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope it was helpful for you guys and let me know in the comment section what you want to see next bye